Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's abridged scripture reading is from 1 Kings chapter 12, where we find King Jeroboam and the assembly of Israel asking King Rehoboam of Judah to reduce their harsh living conditions previously imposed by King Solomon. Verse 6. King Rehoboam consulted with the elders who had served his father Solomon while he was still alive, saying, How do you counsel me to answer this people? Then they spoke to him, saying, If you will be a servant to this people today, and will serve them, and grant them their petition, and speak good words to them, then they will be your servants forever. But he forsook the counsel of the elders which they had given him, and consulted with the young men who grew up with him and served him. So he said to them, What counsel do you give that we may answer this people? The young men who grew up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you shall say to this people who spoke to you, My little finger is thicker than my father's loins. Whereas my father loaded you with a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. Then Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day, as the king had directed. The king answered the people harshly, for he forsook the advice of the elders which they had given him. And he spoke to them according to the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. So the king did not listen to the people, for it was a turn of events from the Lord, that he might establish his word, which the Lord spoke through Ahijah the Shilonite to Jeroboam the son of Nabat. When all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion do we have in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. To your tent, O Israel. Now look after your own house, David. So Israel departed to their tents. But as for the sons of Israel, who lived in the cities of Judah, Rehoboam reigned over them. Then King Rehoboam sent Adoram, who was over the forced labor, and all Israel stoned him to death. And King Rehoboam made haste to mount his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. Sometimes people make decisions they later regret because they listen to ungodly counsel. Here are four suggestions to help those of us who are believers discern what is wise biblical advice. One, look for counsel that references God, the Bible, and Jesus. If it neglects or contradicts the principles of Scripture, the best thing to do is retreat. 2. If there's a lot of talk but little prayer, think twice. Even with a great exchange of ideas and wisdom, a prudent advisor should ultimately defer to God and pray for His direction. Prayer is essential for attaining the whole counsel of God. 3. Avoid a counselor who compromises Scripture. People sometimes soften God's requirements by saying things like, Nobody's perfect, so a little gossip, gambling, or other fun won't hurt. Such rationalizing can quickly lead to destruction. And four, beware of counsel quick to criticize the church. Someone who readily discredits the church may have a hurtful bias and a tendency to leave God out when giving advice. Remember, living within each believer is the counselor himself, the Holy Spirit, who wants to help with all our decisions. Seek Him first and often.